what are web tools? Okay, then it's not about web games. It's about having a tool that students can use to create and collaborate in a virtual space. So the history of the web, when web became 2.0, it shifted gears. It moved away from us being previewers of information, from going on a website and actually reading the content and saying, okay, now I can go on to CNN.com and get all my news, right? With web 2.0, the power was for the participant to actually collaborate in real time, to share ideas to be a creator of information. Okay, so that is kind of the emphasis of Web 2.0. So we want to give our students an opportunity to create, to collaborate, to edit, okay? Because we, I mean, how many of us, we, how many of us can tell, how many times you hear in your teacher ed program, you need to reflect, you need to think about what you've done and then make changes, right? It's that mindset of looking at and thinking about what I've been doing and how I can improve. So with web tools, we can have our students do that. They can think about their, their um, explanation of an idea. They can go back and say, oh yeah, I noticed that maybe I didn't really explain that idea really well. I should be talking about the commutative property this way. I was really thinking about the associative property. So it gives them that opportunity. For our ELLs, web tools are unbelievable. I mean, it's just, if you're an English language learner, and you're not having an opportunity to speak and to share, you're missing a huge opportunity. And I've, I've, recent research says about 70% of English language learners don't even have an opportunity to speak in the classroom. They're not sharing the ideas. How are they going to have an opportunity to practice the English language? So web tools have that. It has that opportunity to harness that power to let all of your students collaborate, to let all of your students share and communicate their ideas in a virtual classroom.